For a long time I've been experimenting with sticks and mallets and of course we all know that they're extremely personal but the wonderful thing um, about the stick that I'm holding now is that personally I like a very heavy stick even sometimes heavier than this one but for a lot of the snare drum solo work that I do um, this stick allows me to actually um, speak basically as a musician so I feel as though I can really use the tip really well, every part of the tip, so that I can actually get different sound colours, but yet I can also get a very fat and broad sound. So the spectrum dynamically and also texturally is, is very important for me to get from a stick. And I just find that the, the natural weight um, of, of these sticks, which are 740s, um, really suit the size and shape of my hand, but also not just on the snare drum, but on a multi setup as well. So um, they're just very, very flexible, and you really can allow the stick to do the work for you, or you can just, you know, work a wee bit with the stick as well, and uh, and just get a whole myriad of sound colours. One of the other favourite tools, as it were, I like to have close by are these. These are called tubes and they're really wonderful, especially if I have a, a, a multi setup and if I'm perhaps improvising a cadenza or something. So if we're thinking about the Joseph Schwartner percussion concerto just as an example, then these work really, really well on things like tom-toms, on timbales, on bongos, on the rims of drums, on a snare drum, on a big orchestral bass drum or something. Um, you know, even on tuned percussion like a vibraphone or marimba, they're actually really, really effective. And I find that the reaction from the audience and from players is that, goodness, you know, what's that sound colour? What, how is that being produced? And it's just this very, very simple idea, but it's just so really delicate. sort of go off in one and, and they're really fun, really interesting and a lot you can do with them. Another type of stick that um, is very important to have, certainly for me anyway as a multi-percussion player, are what we call rock knockers and basically, you know, this is like a, a fairly thick timbale stick and, uh, and it just gives you a very even weight throughout the whole stick. This is really useful when I'm playing multi-percussion pieces. And uh, you know, if I have to play you know, very loudly and rolling quite quickly or something on a big orchestral bass drum, then this just gives me a, a big amount of weight in the sound. And, uh, and, and likewise, just a good, even, solid stroke on any type of drum I might want to choose to play. And you know, the difference in perhaps playing a, a passage using a drumstick like a 740 and then using uh, a pair of the, the rock knockers, you know, it's interesting to just kind of be aware of the difference in, in weight of sound. So I think it's very important to have all of these different types of tools at hand because you never know what a conductor might want or what the, the sound engineer might ask you to do sound-wise. So um, the more tools you have, the better really.